Question number six, Honourable Annette King. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My, my question is to the Minister of Health. What consultation with general practitioners, nurses and district health boards did he undertake before announcing free doctor's visits for children aged under 13? Mr Speaker. Honourable Michael Woodhouse. Uh, on behalf of the Minister of Health, I thank the member for the opportunity to talk about one of the most popular and positive announcements in Budget 2014, free doctor's visits and prescriptions for children under 13, made affordable by the hard work of our health professionals over the last five years. As, as customary budget initiatives, there was no formal consultation with GPs, nurses or DHBs. However, this policy was promoted and discussed widely by the health sector in recent times, including the Children's Commissioner and the Maori Affairs Select Committee. I'm sure the member will join with the government in welcoming this policy, which is all about providing better support to children and their families. Supplementary question, Mr Speaker. Well, in light of that answer... Question, the Honourable Annette King. Thank you, Mr Speaker. In light of that answer, has the New Zealand Medical Association subsequently advised him that GPs could raise the cost of adult consultations in order to cross-subsidise the cost of seeing more children if the subsidy is insufficient. Oh, Mr. Speaker. Order, order, Honourable Michael Woodhouse. Uh, on behalf of the Minister, the advice I have seen is that the New Zealand Medical Association strongly welcomed the policy, with the Chairman Mark Peterson saying it approved the situation for children through targeting services to those that need them most. He was the head of a long list of supporters, including the Medical Association, the Paediatric Society, Point of order, Mr. numerous Speaker. GPs. Order. Point of order, Mr Speaker. Point of order, Honourable Mr Anakin. Speaker, my question was, did order, the Medical I, order, Association... Order. I heard the question, and I'm sure the Minister heard the question. We'll now allow the Minister some time to answer it. Honourable Michael Woodhouse. Uh, uh, that list includes numerous community GPs, the College of General Practitioners, and thousands of parents from around New Zealand. Uh, no, order. I'll have a point of order here from the Honourable Annie King. Can my question order. ask if the I'm Medical to, Association order. had advised... I'm going to ask the member to Thank repeat you. the question. Has the Medical Association subsequently advised him that GPs could raise the cost of adult consultations in order to cross-subsidise the cost of seeing more children if the subsidy is insufficient. Mr. Speaker. Honourable Michael Woodhouse. On behalf of the Minister of Health, I cannot confirm whether amongst the plethora of positive feedback that the Minister has received, that little barb was received by him. Well, your supplementary question, the right honourable so Prime Minister. Has the Minister seen any reports of other political parties who might be interested in following this policy? Order. And it is unusual to see order. the Labour Party order. arguing against free doctor's order. visits. No. Point of order, Mr Speaker, I order. wasn't arguing um, against them. Order. I was asking questions. Order. 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 <laughs> the Prime Minister's question is out of order. There is no responsible for clown. the Minister for other parties. Policy. And he's a clown. But, supplementary question, Mr Speaker. How order. many... No, order, order. Does he want to leave, Mr I'm Speaker? I'm calling the, calling the Honourable Annie King for a supplementary question. <laughs> supplementary question. How many consultations per child per year on average did he base his announcement of $30 million to pay GPs for free doctor's visits for children under 13 years of age? Mr Speaker. Honourable Michael Woodhouse. On behalf of the Minister of Health, I can't answer the exact question, but I would encourage the member to put the question down in writing or read the budget. I'm sure it's in there somewhere. What I do know is that Order. from evidence of the under sixes... The, Order. The, Order. The, members now, the Minister's now answered the question. Point of order, Mr Speaker. Point of order. Mr Speaker, could I ask the uh, Minister to refer to the page in the budget Order. where we could find no, that the amount? the Member cannot do that. Yeah. If she has Supp a supplementary question, if she wants to continue. Supplementary question, Mr Speaker. Honourable Is Anderson. the amount to be paid for a consultation for a child under 13 years likely to be more or less on average than the $74 per enrolled child paid for free visits for under six-year-olds. Honourable Michael Woodhouse. Well, look, Mr Speaker, as the member well knows, 
The scheme is a voluntary opt-in scheme, and the government is very confident of its success given the fact that 98.2% of children who currently qualify for free health care as an under six, and 97.7% of, of under sixes get after hours care, that this will be very popular and widely taken up. What are you talking about? Um, Mr. Point of order, Mr. Point Speaker. Of order, the Honourable Annette King. Um, you might have noticed I asked whether it was more order. or less than the $74 order. paid order. for the under sixes. Order. The member will resume the seat. The difficulty I had is I actually could not hear the detail of the member's question because there was so much noise coming from both sides of the House. I'm going to invite the member to repeat the question. Order. Supplementary question. Is the amount to be paid for a consultation for a child under 13 likely to be more or less on average than the $74 per enrolled child paid to provide free visits to the under six-year-olds? Honourable Michael Woodhouse. On behalf of the Minister of Health, I'm not in a position to answer that question, but I'm sure if she put it down in writing, we could. Question number seven. Order. Quest order. Question number seven, Honourable Phil Heatley. Thank you, Mr Speaker.